birds, cute little feathered critters that fly and eat worms, and sometimes sing and even talk. These are like the most harmless creatures of all time, right? Wrong. There are birds out there that are totally terrifying, and remind us all that modern birds are the descendants of the T-Rex. From the biggest bird of all, to the bird with a gruesome diet, here's the 20 deadliest birds on the planet. <sighs> Number 20. Ostrich. Ostriches are huge flightless birds belonging to the genus Struthio. In the order Struthioniformes, they are members of the infra-class Paleognathae, which also contains emus, rheas, and kiwis. The common ostrich and the Somali ostrich are the two existing species of ostrich. They are African natives that lay the biggest eggs of any land animal. They are the quickest birds on land, capable of running at speeds of up to 70 kilometers an hour. They are cultivated all over the world. Mostly for their feathers, which are used as ornaments and feather dusters. Their skin is also employed in the production of leather goods. Ostriches are known for being the world's heaviest birds. There was a demand for ordinary ostriches in Roman times for use in games or cuisine. They've been hunted and farmed for their feathers, which have been popular as adornment in stylish attire in various eras, such as hats during the 19th century. Their hides are prized for the leather they produce. They were nearly hunted to extinction in the 18th century and farming for feathers began in the 19th century. Over 700,000 of these birds were kept in captivity at the turn of the century. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. A photographer was out on safari in Africa with a long camera lens, and he thought he'd captured an amazing photo of a vulture, but it was only when he checked the images that he saw this. It seems this vulture is a freak in nature with the head of a hairless cat. Pretty scary. You can probably see why this bird probably wants you dead. Do you want Americano? What kind of mutation is this? Are there other birds like this one out there? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Lammergeier Lammergeier, commonly known as the bearded vulture, is a huge eagle-like vulture of the old world with a wing spread of about 3 meters. From Central Asia and Eastern Africa to Spain, the Lammergeier can be found in hilly areas. It may also be found in South Africa's Drakenberg Mountain Range and Lesotho. The Lammergeier is brown on top and tawny underneath, with spots on the breast, black and white stripes on the head, and long bristles on the chin. The feathered face and legs, curved beak, powerful prehensile feet, and long curved claws are all eagle-like traits. It normally builds its nest on cliff ledges, depositing one or two pale eggs that are around 10 centimeters long. It eats carrion, particularly bones that it drops from heights of up to 80 meters onto flat rocks below. As a result, the bird then has access to the tasty marrow of the shattered bones. Since 2014, the species has been categorized as near-threatened by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Lammergeiers have disappeared from extensive parts of their previous range in Europe and Africa, owing to habitat degradation, hunting pressure, and accidental and purposeful poisoning. Lammergeiers eat remnants of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication diclofenac, which is poisonous to vultures and deadly in even tiny amounts when they scavenge animal corpses in Asia. The number of live Lammergeiers is estimated to be between 2,000 and 10,000, according to ecologists. Number 18. The Vampire Finch 
The Galapagos Islands are home to a variety of strange species, but did you know that one of them is a real-life vampire? The Galapagos Vampire Finch is a dangerous bird. Maybe the Vampire Finch isn't that lethal after all. Although the Vampire Finch has developed a craving for warm blood, it only consumes the blood of other birds, not human blood. So as long as you don't have feathers, you're safe. Finch species in the Galapagos have adapted to varied settings in a variety of ways. Ways, including the size and form of their beaks. Some birds have evolved small, strong beaks to aid in the cracking of hard nuts and seeds. Other finches eat insects and have evolved longer, sharper beaks to allow them to target scurrying prey with great agility. Because it evolved to consume insects, especially parasites that reside on larger birds, the vampire finch has a sharp beak. Vampire finches are found on the Wolf and Darwin Islands, which are arid and devoid of water, leading experts to believe that the vampire finch evolved to relieve its thirst by drinking blood, and that the transition from landing on larger birds and using their sharp beaks to peck at the parasites to pecking the larger birds to cause wounds and then sucking up their blood was a modest evolutionary step. It's a nasty behavior, but it's also a stunning evolutionary adaptation. Number 17. Hemu the emu is Australia's second biggest living bird. Standing more than 1.5 meters tall and weighing more than 45 kilograms, the emu is the only extant member of the order Cassowariformes family Dromidae, which also contains cassowaries. The common emu, like its cousin the cassowary, has a sturdy body and lengthy legs, brownish in color with a dark gray head and neck on both sexes. Emus can sprint at approximately approximately 50 kilometers an hour and kick with their large three-toed feet if cornered. Emus mate for life and the male incubates seven to ten dark green eggs, each about 13 centimeters in length for roughly 60 days in a ground nest. The striped youngsters quickly catch up to the elders. <laughs> Emus hunt for fruits and insects in small groups, but they may also harm crops. The emu's trachea has a distinctive structure that is linked to the bird's loud booming song during the mating season. There are three known species which dwell in northern, southeastern, and southwestern Australia. A fourth, now extinct, once existed in Tasmania. The common emu is the sole survivor of multiple species that were wiped out by European colonists. The common emu is classified as a species of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. According to ecological studies, there are more than 630,000 mature emus, and emu populations are likely steady. The last wild King Island emu was observed in 1802, and the final captive specimens died in 1822. Prior to 1827, the Kangaroo Island emu was likely hunted to extinction on Kangaroo Island in South Australia. Number 16. European Herring Gull The European Herring Gull is a big gull with a wingspan of up to 66 centimeters. It was previously one of the most common of all gulls along the coastlines of Western Europe, Northern Europe, Western Europe, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, and the Baltic Republics are all breeding grounds for it. Some European herring gulls, particularly those from colder climates, migrate south in the winter, but many remain year-round inhabitants, such as in Ireland, the United Kingdom, Iceland, and a along the North Sea coasts. They eat a variety of foods, including fish, crabs, and plants, and they are scavengers who eat carrion and food left by or taken from humans despite a rise in urban areas. The species is dropping dramatically across the United Kingdom as a whole. The number of European herring gulls in the United Kingdom has declined by 50% in 25 years, and they are protected by law from January 2010. Natural England has only authorized lethal control. <laughs> 
with a particular individual license, which is only accessible in limited circumstances. Following a public consultation, Natural England made the move in response to the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, listing the species on its red list of vulnerable bird species in 2009, giving it the highest possible conservation status. Once they've become acquainted with humans, urban European herring gulls have no qualms about swooping down to steal food from their hands, although a study published in 2019 found that the gulls are more hesitant to snatch food in close proximity to humans if the experimenter makes eye contact with the bird. During the breeding season, the gulls also aggressively dive bomb and attempt to strike with claws and wings, sometimes spraying faces or vomit at the same time. At humans, that they perceive to be a threat to their eggs and chicks. Often innocent passers-by, or residents of the buildings on which they have constructed their nests. Number 15. Barred Owl Barred owls are large owls with stocky builds and no ear tufts on top of their rounded heads. They stand between 43 and 50 centimeters tall and have a wingspan of 99 to 110 centimeters. Female barred owls are generally bigger than males, weighing between 470 and 1,050 grams. The barred owl gets its name from the gray slash brown and white bands on its body. Vertical barring can be seen lower on the chest, whereas horizontal barring can be found from the upper chest to the face. The bird's wings and tail have these bands as well. The barred markings that earned this species its name can be seen even in youngsters. Crepuscular hunters are those who hunt during the twilight hours of dusk and morning. and that includes barred owls. These owls are quite noisy and it is typical to hear them calling late at night or even during the day. The who cooks for you, who cooks for you all cry of a barred owl is quite unique and easily recognized. A barred owl is far more vulnerable to predation when it is in the nest, whether it is young or still in the egg. Raccoons, weasels, and other animals may raid their nests. Adult barred owls confront significantly fewer dangers. However, the great horned owl is the largest natural predator of an adult barred owl. If the two species' home ranges overlap, the barred owl will frequently relocate to avoid a great horned owl. Collisions with automobiles are sadly another threat to barred owls. Number 14. The Red-Tailed Hawk this hawk is most likely the most prevalent in North America. On practically every lengthy automobile journey, if you have sharp eyes, you'll notice multiple red-tailed hawks. Red-tailed hawks glide above vast fields, their large rounded wings leisurely turning circles. Other times, you'll find them perched on telephone poles, eyes fixated on the ground, waiting for a vole or a rabbit to move, or simply waiting out the cold before attempting to climb a thermal updraft into the sky. This isn't a bird you'll see in your backyard, unless yours is a big one. Because red-tailed hawks consume largely animals, they're less likely than coopers or sharp-shined hawks to frequent a feeder. A red-tailed hawk is quite unlike to attack dogs or cats. The red-tailed hawk has a startling raspy cry that is eerily similar to that of a raptor. At least, that's what it seems Hollywood filmmakers believe. The piercing shriek on a movie soundtrack nearly always belongs to a red-tailed hawk. Whenever a hawk or eagle shows on screen, regardless of species, birds have incredible adaptations for living in the air. Even though the red-tailed hawk is one of the largest birds in North America, even the largest females only weigh a approximately three pounds. When it was discovered in Michigan in 2011, the oldest known wild red-tailed hawk was at least 30 years, eight months old. The same state where it had been banded in 1981. Number 13. The Australian Magpie. Jim no Rhina to be sin. The Australian magpie is a protective parent. Magpie fathers spend four to six weeks every year between July and November, keeping an eye on their nesting location for unwanted visitors. The male may swoop in a protective warning show if a threat is detected, although other factors such as territoriality and testosterone levels have been suggested as possible explanations of swooping behavior. 
Here, research reveals that nest defense is the most likely explanation. Cyclists, joggers, pedestrians, pets, birds of prey, and even other magpies are all targets of this swooping behavior. Some magpies have a clear affinity for swooping down on certain individuals, with some swooping down on postal workers, and others dive-bombing bikers. A swoop can catch you off guard, and magpie swoops can potentially result in harm. Is this songbird's aggressive and dangerous reputation justified, according to Professor Daryl Jones, a behavioral ecologist at Griffith University, swooping magpies may be dangerous. There are compelling grounds to believe that magpies are aggressive for very good reasons, such as keeping predators away from their precious nestlings, and they may be highly deadly. Every year, tens of thousands of individuals are harmed, he says. Magpies will go to any length to protect their treasured eggs during the delicate incubation stage. Much like our parents do for us. Friendship is the best remedy to swooping. Magpies have exceptional memory and can distinguish between different people, so if you go to a certain spot often enough, they may recognize you as the friendly neighborhood human and refrain from swooping. Number 12. Bald Eagle the bald eagle has been the United States national emblem since 1782, and it was a spiritual icon for Aboriginal peoples for much longer, although these majestic birds aren't truly bald. Their white feathered heads stand out against their chocolate brown body and wings. Look for them soaring alone, hunting other birds for food, or collecting in large flocks throughout the winter. Bald eagles have thrived under protection after being threatened by hunting and pesticides. Bald eagles frequently go for other species' catches rather than doing their own fishing. A bald eagle will pursue a hunting osprey until the latter drops its prey in mid-flight, at which point the eagle scoops it up. A bald eagle may even snare a fish right from the talons of an osprey, like some kind of badass air pirate. Even the national bird needs to chill out now and then. Plastic bottles and other things have been observed to be used by bald eagles as toys. Six bald eagles were seen handing sticks to each other in midair, according to one observer. Number 11. Snowy Owl the eerie white plumage of the snowy owl harkens back to its arctic roots. Females hatch a clutch of 3 to 11 eggs on the arctic tundra, where these huge owls breed. Clutch size is determined by food availability, and a normally monogamous couple of owls may not reproduce at all during especially lean periods. Parents are protective of their nests and will defend them against intruders, including wolves. Young owls, particularly males, get whiter as they age. Females are darker than males and have dusky dotting. They never turn completely white. Although some senior males do turn entirely white, many still have tiny specks of dark plumage. A careful predator, the snowy owl perches and waits for its prey to be identified before flying off in pursuit. Snowy owls have excellent vision and hearing, allowing them to locate prey that is hidden behind heavy foliage or snow. The owl Owls use their strong talons to catch their prey. Lemmings, lots of lemmings, are a snowy owl's favorite food. In a year, an adult may consume about 1,600 lemmings, or three to five every year. Rabbits, rodents, birds, and fish are used to augment the bird's diet. These majestic owls spend part of their year in their northern nesting grounds, but they also go to Canada, the northern United States, Europe, and Asia on a regular basis. The scope of southern migration when owls take up summer residence on wide fields, marshes, and beaches may be determined by lemming availability. With one of these hovering in the air all the time, it's no wonder lemmings are famous for throwing themselves off cliffs. Number 10. The Griffin Vulture 
The griffin vulture is a huge old world vulture belonging to the Hesipitridae family of birds of prey. The Eurasian griffin is another name for it. It is not to be confused with Rupal's griffin vulture, which is a separate species. It looks much like a white-backed vulture. It is a scavenger like other vultures, eating mostly the corpses of dead animals that it seeks by flying over open regions and flocks. It builds breeding colonies on cliffs that are unaffected by people, but open spaces and dead animals are abundant within dozens of kilometers of these cliffs. When it roosts or feeds on carrion, it growls and hisses. For an individual in captivity, the griffin vulture has a maximum lifespan of 41.5 years. It lays one egg on crags in the highlands of southern Europe, North Africa, and Asia. The griffin vultures have been known to establish loose colonies. The majority of the population is local. Juveniles and immature individuals have the ability to travel large distances. Density dependence has been shown to affect annual reproductive success in this colonial species, with high-quality eries, like exposed ledges and open crevices, producing more fledglings and being used preferentially over low-quality eries, such as caves, potholes, and sheltered ledges, which were only used when the number of breeding individuals increased. Number 9. Harris's Hawk Pay-winged hawks, dusky hawks, and pueco hawks are all names for Harris's hawk. As birds of prey, these North American species are commonly utilized in falconry. These predators have a reputation for hunting in packs. They make their homes in trees and other tall buildings. Over the last five years, their population has shrunk dramatically. Even after habitat destruction, their number was shown to remain unaffected in some regions. However, this was not the case in Texas, where there have been some huge losses. Any animal that poses a threat to their nest might be harassed by these formidable birds of prey. Harris's hawks are said to number in the millions over the world. The calls of Harris's hawks are incredibly low and piercing. When they're with their family, they communicate with calls, but when they're hunting together, they prefer to communicate with gestures so they don't frighten away prey. They utilize their tail, notably the white terminal bands on their tail, to send out quiet messages. According to biologists, although the Harris's hawk is not very harmful to people, it is a bird of prey and this species has attacked humans in the past. Humans hunting these birds or raiding their nests for eggs have been suggested as possible explanations. Number 8. The Harpy Eagle Harpy eagles are a neotropical eagle species. To distinguish it from the Papuan eagle, which is also known as the New Guinea harpy eagle or Papuan harpy eagle, it is sometimes called the American harpy eagle. It is the biggest and most powerful raptor in its range, and one of the world's largest existing species of eagles. It prefers the higher canopy layer of tropical lowland rainforests. It has vanished from much of its historic range as a result of habitat destruction, and it is practically extinct in much of Central America. The harpy eagle is also known as the royal hawk in Brazil. Harpyhopsis and Morphinus make up the Harpinae subfamily. Panama's national bird, the harpy eagle, is portrayed on the country's coat of arms. In light of the United Kingdom's climate change conference in 2009, the 15th harpy eagle released in Belize called Hope was nicknamed Ambassador for Climate Change. The bird appears on the back of the 2000 Bolivares Fuertes Note of Venezuela. Also, JK Rowling fans may already know that the design of Fox the Phoenix in the Harry Potter film series was inspired by the Harpy Eagle. Number 7. Giant Petrel the northern giant petrel is a huge predatory seabird found in the southern seas. The population of northern giant petrels, also known as gigantic fulmars, is thought to overlap with that of its counterpart, the southern giant petrels, the Antarctic Convergence Zone. Argentina, Chile, New Zealand, South Africa, and Australia are among their habitats. These birds are known to nest on a variety of islands, including the Chatham Islands and the Crozet Islands 
Pelicans, this species is pelagic and circumpolar, meaning it may be found anywhere between 30 and 64 degrees south latitude. These birds may be found in the open oceans during the summer and subtropical waters to around 28 degrees south during the winter. The gray-brown in hue with dark gray legs and feet and pale eyes, these birds are a perfect color for sea life. The bill of the northern giant petrel is its most noticeable characteristic. This petrel's bill is reddish and fairly lengthy. Juveniles are born dark and gradually brighten as they age. Northern giant petrels breed in New Zealand from August to February. These monogamous northern giant petrels share incubating, raising, and defending offspring. One big white egg is put in the nest, which is composed of stalks, twigs, and leaves, and is incubated for roughly 60 days. These birds are known to eat krill, squids, and fish, as well as carcasses of marine creatures such as seal pups and carrion. Certain characteristics distinguish the northern giant petrel from the southern giant petrel, such as the latter's pale green coloring. This bird is classified as near-threatened. Number 6. The Hooded Pitoee the hooded pitoee is the world's first known venomous bird. This brightly colored and charming bird was discovered in New Guinea in 1989 for the first time. They get their poison from their food, which consists of a toxic insect that they eat and then transform into their own venom. The toxin protects them from parasites while also deterring predators. It appears to be quite successful since other bird species living around the hooded pitoee have adopted the same color scheme to assist them avoid predators as well. The toxicity of this bird has long been recognized among the people of New Guinea, but it was only recently discovered by contemporary research. When scientists were handling the skins of several specimen birds in the lab, they noticed numbness in their hands as well as some burning of the skin, which led to the discovery that this bird is poisonous. Its venom is produced in a similar manner to that of the Colombian golden poison frog, which is one of the world's most toxic species. Number 5. The Peregrine Falcon the peregrine falcon is one of the most remarkable creatures on the planet and a speed record breaker. This raptor has a top speed of 200 miles per hour. They tuck their wings in tight to their bodies, resembling a boomerang, and then proceed to fly through the air at speeds similar to an F1 car. Scientists researching these birds are still unsure how they are able to dive at such high speeds, while maintaining the essential maneuverability to hit prey effectively without harming themselves. These live rockets are completely fearsome, as we can see in this video. She may first utilize her extraordinary agility and speed to get some prey for her chicks, but as soon as she does, she must defend her area against invading enormous pelicans, considerably larger than her, before turning her focus to another predator with its eyes on her young, a venomous snake. However, the snake made a grave error by interfering with a peregrine falcon's nest. Number 4. Golden Eagle since the beginning of recorded history, the golden eagle has enthralled people. Many early recorded cultures worshipped the golden eagle. Golden eagles may be trained to be great falconry birds, but because of their size, strength, and hostility, they must be handled with caution to avoid damage to the falconer. They have been used in this way since the Middle Ages. They were allegedly used to hunt deer, antelope, and wolves by Asian hunting parties. Because the Golden Eagle's use for falconry was previously limited to emperors and kings in Europe, its common names in numerous European languages roughly translates as Royal Eagle, and you can see why. Number 3. The Great Horned Owl 
The Great Horned Owl is the quintessential American bird. The Great Horned Owl of the Americas may be found from midway to the northernmost parts of Alaska and Canada, all the way down to the South Amazon Basin. These beautiful predators have a life expectancy of up to 28 years. Respect is demanded and deserved by the birds of this species. <laughs> Try stealing one of the owl's eggs if you don't believe me. First and foremost, be wary of their talons, which are the most deadly feature. That and the fact that you won't be searching for one when one is attempting to harm you. The talons of these owls are supposed to inflict 500 pounds of pressure per square inch on your flesh. It's not out of the realm of possibility to suffer a serious injury with that kind of force. Number 2. Great Northern Loon Loons come in five different species, all of which live above Ecuador. The Arctic loon, a hardy tundra dweller that winters in northern Eurasia and North America. The Pacific loon, which flocks to California, Oregon, and Washington State every autumn. The red-throated loon, a small, narrow-headed bird that swims with its beak pointed upwards, rather than straight ahead like its relatives. And the yellow-billed loon, the largest member of the loon family, which can weigh up to 13 13.2 pounds. The common loon is probably the most well-known bird in North America, only second to the bald eagle. The common loon was named the official bird of Minnesota in 1961, and Canadian wallets are loaded with loonies, dollar coins featuring an image of the common loon on the backside. Number 1. The Crowned Eagle the crowned eagle, commonly known as the African crowned eagle or the crowned hawk eagle, is a huge bird of prey found in sub-Saharan Africa. It is confined to eastern portions of South Africa. Riparian woods and a variety of forests are its favorite habitats. The sole living member of the genus, Stephanoetis, is the crowned eagle. After humans arrived in Madagascar, a second species, the Malagasy crowned eagle, went extinct, which seems to happen a lot when humans show up. There are significant geographical variances in the prey consumed by crowned eagle populations. Tiny angelids, such as tweakers and chevrotains, rock hyrax, and small primates such as monkeys are its primary prey throughout its range. Large lizards and birds are sometimes hunted too, although the crowned eagle's long tail gives it an overall length of up to 90 centimeters. It is not as big as Africa's largest eagle, the martial eagle, and has a much smaller wing Wingspan. When assessed in terms of the weight of its prey items, it is still Africa's most powerful eagle. Are you by now terrified of birds? Will you ever take a sandwich to a UK seaside town? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!